Hello friends and welcome back. I am here to help you out today with your wood. Are you having trouble taking forever getting big wood? Does it take you way too long to get a nice big fat stack of wood like this? Well, let's take a look at how I do it. Alright, today we are looking at some tips and tricks for logging. We are going to only use a few mods, but we are going to be on the Platinum DLC because, let's face it, there's nothing better for logging than the Platinum DLC when it comes to FS22. So, let's get started cutting just to clear this tree off of my harvester real fast here. Well, excavator really, but we've got it set up with the harvester head. And let's take a look at this setup because this is probably the fastest way I have figured out to get logging done in FS22. So we're using two yarders set up here. We've got one going downhill to bring everything up here to the harvester where we'll pile up all of the trees, cut it up, and then I've got it heading over that pile that you've already seen. Let's just bring that carriage over here real quick and run some logs over to it. All right, so now that we've got this one, We are going to go ahead and hook up a few logs here. And can I get this one underneath? I think I can. All right, we are going to just go ahead and lift that up a little bit so that I can see this log and there we go now we've got that one attached now I am gonna raise these all the way up because right where it's set up on the hill here that kind of works the best for me and we're gonna go ahead and set it to enable follow just till I get towards this end and we're gonna drop those back down a wee bit here and I'm going to shut off Disable Follow just so that I can kind of control the speed a little better. And over here is the wood storage by Atheniel. And it works fantastic with the yarders. You set your yarder up behind it and you can pull your logs right in on top of it. The only thing you have to watch out for is how quickly you come in. And to make sure that you do kind of drop them down here at the end and we'll detach and they should more or less fall right where they need to go. It does start getting a little bit goofy once we kind of get it filled up a little bit too much and sometimes you do kind of have to play around with the log a little bit like this just in order to get it to settle where it should be but that's okay because once we come in with the jaws it'll clean everything up anyways. Let's go down to the bottom and see exactly how we are doing all this. We've got our second yarder over here and what we're doing is we're actually originally coming through and cutting all of the trees down first. And then we're coming back through, hooking up our yarder cable to the trees down at this end. If I can find our tree here. There we go. We're hooking it up at this end and then we're dragging it all the way back up to our yarder. We're just gonna dump it there for our wood harvester. And what this really lets you do is it kind of lets you just go through and do everything together real quick to speed up the process. You just need to come through, cut all the trees down, bring your yarder cable, hook it up, haul them all up, then you can delim them and cut them up real quick haul them over and then you just have to pick it up and throw it onto the tree and yeah that didn't land in the optimum position and then you just need to yard them all up to your harvester that way you don't have to drive your harvester all over the place trying to knock the trees down cut them and then carry them then once you're up at the top here you want to just go ahead and start grabbing your trees which sometimes can get a little bit tricky, but usually if you fish around for a minute or two, you can find them. And I kind of grabbed that, yeah, I grabbed that one backwards. If you didn't know, on the harvesters, if you watch which side your saw is on, your saw is always going to be the end that actually is cut off. So, you want to keep your saw towards the larger end of the tree, so the bottom of the tree, because that way... 
your longest pieces are all going to be the thickest. If you really start having a hard time like this, like I'm kind of having right now, you can always run around and delim them real quick with your chainsaw first. There we go. But then I can just swing it around so that I'm right over near where this yarder is going to be at. And let it wig out because we grabbed two trees. All right. That was a really small tree. But then all you've got to do is spend a little bit of time going through, process all of your trees down. It also helps you be a little bit pickier. So if you're loading up a container instead of doing standard trailers, once you have everything cut up and sitting right here, you can see what the lengths are when you hook them up to the second yarder and take it over to your pile. And if you really wanted to, you could definitely just have one of the containers sitting down by the yarder instead of the wood storage and let that basically load them right into the container for you. I just really prefer doing the trailers, especially because a lot of this wood is going to be going to my sawmill. And I don't want to mess around with the containers when I'm just going to be taking it right to my sawmill. By the way, if you're on PC, you can also definitely just set up an auto load wood trailer down at the end near your second yarder and have it just drop them right by your trailer to get auto loaded right on. But this way you wouldn't have to be trying to drive your trailer up and down the mountainside to load it. But anyways, you can just spend some time processing all of your trees through and seeing as you're going in like an assembly line style, even if you're doing this solo, you can get a lot done very quickly. It's surprising how fast it is when you don't have to drive your harvester in between everything or drive around a tractor or a wheel loader trying to pick up all your logs afterwards. So then once you have this fairly full, like I could probably try and start bringing more down to fill up that other side, but right now we're going to go ahead and just grab this stack out. And you can see once I start kind of bashing in in here, it does really start to help even some of that stuff out. And we're going to close up these jaws and make them wig out. There we go. And magically balancing log on top. Okay, there we go. Now, to get these a little bit straighter too, all you have to do is take some sort of dozer blade, multi-blade, anything, and just ram them from this other side. And the CSZ pack has an extension that really helps with that. I do actually have it sitting over here. I should have evened these out before I grabbed them, but I'm just not going to worry about it much right now. This won't be a fantastic load at all for me, but I wanted to demonstrate how easy it is grabbing wood out of that storage loader. This big jaw pack, though, which is the timber jaw by FSG Modding, it has a little bit of trouble getting in between the sections on the trailer. So make sure you know that. That's why we're just having an issue trying to get all of that wood unloaded when I should have been able to just open up the jaws. There's some sort of collision on those front jaws to where it's hitting the trailer on the other side and you just can't quite perfectly get it dumped. But you can use any sort of log jaws. You can use the grapple on the excavators, anything you want in order to get them out of that storage and load it up. This way just tends to be one of the faster ways for me dealing with this much lumber at once even though it gets a little bit finicky at the end there i mean all you have to do is bring it back over this way and dump it somewhere in line with your yarder cable here and all i'm gonna do is bring that yarder back down again at some point and grab the logs and restack them it makes things really easy and really quick all right this is a an impressively sloppy load. Um, I'm not sure the last time I've made this bad of a load, but um, yeah. Hopefully, this will help you out some with your logging in FS22. Thank you for watching. Everybody have a fantastic day and happy gaming.